of my closet right now is shocking. Like, I really don't wanna show you this because I'm so embarrassed, but you know, I like to keep it real here. I have just been throwing everything in as I await my big closet clean out. Also, hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new, I'm Shayla. I think because I've been waiting to do my closet clean out closer to the first day of spring, which here in New York City is March 19th, I keep telling myself like, I don't need to put things back. I'll just toss it in there, I'll handle it. I'll wait till like the first or second week of March. And we have finally made it to the end of February, but I don't think that I can wait because this this, this is not working for me. This is not, this is not me. This is not me. This is not helping me thrive. This chaos is giving me anxiety. Yeah, I'm really, really not proud of this, but we will handle it. Unfortunately, not until after I go to this event and workout. So it'll have to be later this afternoon, but oh my goodness, this is just shocking. Like the door won't even, I can't even close the door all the way. This is embarrassing. I'm kind of thinking this gray sweater in jeans, just keep it casual. And then I will pack leggings in a sports bra for my workout after this event. The event that I'm going to this morning is for Happy Planner. It is a meditation and goal setting event at the well, which should be really fun. Those are many of my favorite things. Meditation, goal setting, planning, love that for me. Before we go, can we please talk about the housemaid? I finished it, could not put it down. Like it's giving Verity. I'm not giving away the storyline or anything like that. But if you read Colleen Hoover's Verity, it's giving Verity. So many twists and turns, lots of up things occur in this book. I'm not gonna lie. It made me cringe at certain points, not in a like, that's embarrassing way, but like a, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening cringe type of way. It was so good that I immediately ordered the next book in the series. I'm only a couple pages in. I just started it last night. I can't believe that I waited this long to read The Housemaid. If you are into psychological thrillers, twisted storylines, suspenseful books, cannot recommend the first book enough. I will keep you posted about this second one. Workout is done. I feel like a million bucks, although I'm tired and hungry. Oh my good little walkies. So I'm gonna have a moment of realness right now, like with myself. I need to be real with myself because it is five o'clock. I've just gotten home, just walked Bali. And there's no way, there's no way that I'm getting to that closet today. <laughs> There is no way. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna finish up some work. This is just what has to happen. And I will get to the closet tomorrow. It's just not gonna happen today. I could start it, but I feel like I would severely regret that, so. Change of plans. If you watched my last vlog, then you know I recently discovered this Asian inspired salad kit from Whole Foods. The first time I tried it, I did not have any tofu, but I thought that it would be good with it. And I can confirm it's very good with tofu. So this is what I'm going to have for, I guess this would be dinner now because it's five o'clock. I did not have lunch. So this is like early dinner, late lunch. I will probably have another meal after this in a few hours, but for now, this is the vibe. Literally just gonna cook this sprouted tofu in tamari, or you can do soy sauce, salt and pepper, probably add some cucumbers to the salad and some ginger carrots. These are fermented and we all know I love some fermented food. Good for the gut, good for the skin. Do a little liquor. But I'm almost tempted to take a shower first because I'm still in my workout clothes underneath my jeans. <laughs> and that's really gross because I'm really sweaty. Shower first and then I will cook. Speaking of shower, it is a hair washing day for me and I need to give you an update on this shampoo and conditioner that I got from K18. I am obsessed with it. Obviously it's too soon to tell if it's going to have long-term benefits because I've only just used it a couple of times. But so far, I love it.
morning, got some work done this morning, got up a sponsored post for Osea, who I always love working with because as you probably know, I'm obsessed with them. And now I have like two hours before my afternoon Pilates class and then I'll record some podcast episodes later. So I feel like now would be a great time to try to tackle this closet. My method for closet organization is to pull everything out and then only put the things back in my closet that I am using and wearing regularly. And then I typically will put the rest of the stuff in an under the bed bag. I'll set an alarm in my phone for like two to three months. And if I have not gone and looked for any of the items in the under the bed bag, then the items that are in the under the bed bag are either donated or I post them to my Poshmark account, which is always linked in the description box. I will probably do another closet clean out mid spring when the weather gets a little bit warmer because we're still having some chillier days, even though it is getting warmer here in New York. But I just, for now, I need to kind of get this sorted because this is a hot mess. Also, if you watched my last YouTube video, then you know my boyfriend is moving in, which is why I have been creating more space in my apartment. And also, while I am obsessed with my apartment, like I literally love my apartment, I do have very minimal closet space, which is not great. And then add in another person and it's gonna be interesting, but we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna have to downsize a little bit. Okay, that is my alarm to get ready for Pilates. So to be continued. Of course it's raining, but that's okay. We're showing up and going to Pilates anyways. Decided to stop and grab some celery juice for tomorrow and the next few days, as well as a little vegan protein smoothie because I have not treated myself to a smoothie from Juice Generation in a minute. And I just feel like, you know what? It's a nice little manifestation exercise in abundance to just go ahead and treat yourself. I feel like this is a good day to be doing my closet since it is so rainy outside. All right, back to closet duty I go. Oh boy. Oh boy, big mess. just don't know if I have it in me to deal with my activewear. That is like a whole other project that needs to be done. And yeah, I think we're just gonna leave that for another day. <laughs> but I am feeling very good about my closet. I need to get into my under the bed bags. Sort out the things that I'm packing, like Christmas jammies and such.
my closet is looking so much better. Wow. And I still actually have some extra empty space, which I will figure out what to do with that later. Okay, that is that for now. Time for some self-care and to get some emails done. I accidentally just got caught up doing computer work for the last like two and a half hours. It is almost 7.30 and I do not want to eat dinner too late. So I'm going to be boring. I'm literally just going to make my Asian inspired salad kit again with some tofu. Good morning. Getting ready to go meet up with Archie and go on a little coffee date. We've been going on coffee dates from the beginning of when we started dating almost a year ago, which is crazy. We're about to hit our one year in May. And we still like to go at least once a week. And I actually deemed it our self-love club because it is a time where we talk about our goals and how we're feeling and our pit and peaks of the week and what we're working on and kind of gas each other up. And it's just such a nice time for us to connect with each other. It's actually something that I used to do on my own when I was single and I still take myself out on coffee dates and do all the self-reflection and all of that good stuff. But it's really nice to include Arch in it with me because I feel like it just helps us foster a deeper relationship and we really feel like teammates when we're supporting each other like that. So. That's the plan for this morning. Just had to put sweatpants on over my leggings because it's so cold out. 30 degrees. Oh boy. Self love club has adjourned. <laughs> It is so freaking cold outside this morning. <laughs> I don't want to complain about the weather, but the temperature has dropped considerably and it is so windy out. It is crazy. It's crazy. You would think after living in New York for almost two years now, I would be accustomed to the rapid weather changes and the coldness, but I'm still struggling with it. I'm not gonna lie. I did just pick up a package downstairs from Amazon, but I did not order anything from Amazon and I'm curious to see what this is. I feel like my mom might have sent this to me because I love little just because surprises. Okay, so far I am obsessed with this packaging. I'm assuming it's a candle, which if you know me, you know I love candles. <gasps> this is so pretty. How sweet. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. And that's gonna look so pretty in my bedroom. Thank you, mom. I think we'll put it right here. Very cute. 
I have some admin and editing to do today, but first I'm going to do a little Q&A on my Instagram stories. By the way, if you're not following me already, my Instagram is at Shayla Quinn. I have not done an Instagram Q&A in a while. The last time I put up a question box on my Instagram, I ended up answering all the questions on my podcast, the Yoga Inspired Life podcast, just because I really enjoy long form content. And sometimes it's just easier for me to get my point across when I have more time. And Instagram stories can go so quickly, but I am going to do that Q&A on my stories and then just get some work done today. I don't think that I've mentioned this on my YouTube channel yet, but I started boxing. I have been going every Thursday, boxing once a week. This is only my third session, so I'm still learning, but I've been really enjoying it and it's honestly so fun to be a beginner at something. I also feel like boxing is really good for the brain because my coach is calling out number combos and each punch has to do with a different number and you have to remember it all. And it's just been really good for my brain, for my body to change things up. It's great cardio. I feel empowered when I do it and I'm really loving it. Obviously still a complete beginner when it comes to boxing, but I am loving it so, so, so much. Hope that me trying these new things out like tennis and boxing inspire you to go try something new and be a beginner at something because it really is so fun. Currently just touching up my makeup because my eye is like nonstop watering. <laughs> because I'm meeting up with Brooke, going on a little dinner date together, which is much needed because she has been traveling so much. I feel like I barely see her anymore. Been a busy gal, which obviously like I'm happy for her that she's doing so well with work and all that good stuff, but <laughs> I miss my best friend, but that's okay. I guess this is part of becoming an adult. Everybody's juggling their own lives and relationships and jobs and things and just have to get friendship time in when you can and appreciate it and make it quality. I was so tempted to shower and just like redo my makeup again, but when I got home from boxing, I just sat down at the computer and started working and worked, 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 worked. And now it's evening time and time to go to dinner. So, <laughs> so I just, you know, I took a little body shower and I'm gonna leave my makeup on for another hour or so and then I'll shower when I get home. Although I will be honest with you, I'm not a big sweater, so I really didn't sweat much in that workout, but still I would have liked to shower before dinner, but uh, too late now, so. So excited to see Brooke right now. I cannot even contain my excitement. I can't control it. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Back out into the cold. Oh, it actually doesn't feel that cold out right this second. It felt nice. really cold when we were out walking here. Quite nice. That was yummy. Although I think spicy moon is better. 100% better. Right? But it's and it's all plant based. You know, but it was good and good company. Self-care is done and now it's time for a little treat. I'm gonna do some of these Hue Kitchen chocolate covered cashews and my favorite, the Sumo Orange. This combo is so good. 